Good afternoon. I'm back and um, today actually I've been just thinking about it what to do with today and what we talk about today and today is the just simple the research what the world of scientists and what has been published in uh, around the world in the media which basically we as a normal human citizens we don't even know those things they are published all over in their own newspapers in their own radio talk shows in their own um, TV stations but how many of the world population actually 7.82 billion people keep on looking around those ones not so many so let's go through in a few of those places in what I've been founded and um, I'm gonna read a few statistic which never ever ended up on the world news like uh, let's say those four world news which is like uh, Fox or CNN or BBC or Al Jazeera I never see on those they don't talk about let's say in details they have a, just a minimum talking as it costs the time and yes it's not going to bring so much money for them so let's go through in, in uh, basically on here is basically what generally has happened in this world as we humans we lost the control of the plastic pollutions and that is true we humans have lost the control there is a several factors which is contributed pandemic release in search in the plastic pollution according to the september reports in uh, science magazines for this one is uh, pro life federation of convict no, blah, 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 blah. covid 19 throughout the world causes a steep drop in the travel yeah people don't travel anymore so basically it is actually true people don't travel as a result drop of the price <whistles> drop down because those ones who make the petroleums they want the people to buy it so to buy it they do need to blow down the price this has made a cheaper manufactured new plastic than the simply recycle existing plastic products make a new ones why recycle because it's cheaper to as a petroleum is really really cheap and yes it has increase overall plastic production we have a recycled not recycled it just pile up and then make the new ones so the pile is getting 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 really really big in the meanwhile there has been a sharp rise of demands of personal protection equipment ppes you know those ones mask whatever face gloves anything ppes huge huge manufacturers which is the, of course generally contain not not so small amount but they all contain in the plastics so who request about 40 percent escalation of disposable PPEs. Then, Science Magazine noted that it is every person in Earth uses average one disposable face mask every day. After lock after lockdown ends, the planet would be experience a monthly disposal. This one is big number, 129 billion billion face masks and 65 
billion, billion plus. That's a lot. When you think about it in 129 billion face masks, we have uh, 7.82 billion people in this world. So that's quite a large amount. But yes, one mask every day, it's a lot of lot of extra plastics. And 65 billion clubs. Clubs. Those are, of course, needed to protect every individual to not get the COVID. We all like to live. So, to live, please protect yourself. If you like to die, you just make a demonstration and you may see all kind of noises that you don't like to wear the mask. Well, not wearing a protection, people die, unfortunately. But that is how it works. We all know that one. So then, as an international solid waste association, ISWA, they reported earlier in this month the quantity of the single use plastic in food related products like packing it may have increased by from 250 to 300 percent only in america since the coronavirus outbreak reaches this country that country over there far away but yes from 250 to 300 percent and also WWF, World Wildlife Funding, also they reported that expect the plastic pollution increases by 40%, 40 percent, 40% in next decade. That's a lot. 40% in the next decade. We talk about the future. Oh, what are they in the future? 40% more expected plastic pollution well that is a lot i mean nobody can actually deny it. it's a lot we as a humans of course we know how to deal with the plastic we know how to put them hopefully we all put them on the place that they not fly around wind blows around we don't throw them as a just a littering around Put them on a place where they can be collected by garbage collectors and then dispose it or whatever they do in the correct way. Don't just throw it away. It's not the garbage. Maritime mammals don't like it. We all know that one. So, then the other part in, in what I found it in here. The plastic found in the study are not just everyday items as of water bottles, bags of bottle caps. Rather, the animals consumed or were entangled by everything from zip ties, dental floors, or recreational fishing lines, to food wrappers. Additional items include straws, toothbrushes, bubble wraps, children toys, balloons, and sandwich bags. Those ones, you get the sandwich and then you throw it away, which is really not correct. I saw it, you probably saw it, we, many of us saw it, and probably not so many make a voice out of it. Wind takes them, fly around, and then they Hopefully not, but unfortunately, some of them ended up with the sea mammals, maritime mammals, home. Also, researchers only expecting the situation getting worse as it continues overrun single the world basically the world co continues overrun by single use of plastics. It's contributed estimated 300, 300 million tons of plastic waste 
produce every single year 300 million tons of plastic waste produced every year wow that is a lot according to the report also plastic affects marine marine ma <coughs> sorry marine animals at all stages of their life including recently hatched sea turtles those little ones cute ones sea mothers in the process of nurturing their pups and of course the plastic ranges wild in size from microplastic to huge plastic sheets we all know that one and we do have to get together and start the making a noise more about it and then of course i would actually be really really happy if you would actually start the funding on the upcoming project you can find it my funding page in the fund my travel there is me in antarctica and I was taking care of the penguins that know the tourists as the Antarctica there is a lot of cruise ships heading to the Antarctica cruise ships yes they do have their policies and actually they do follow up in their policies quite good because researchers over there in Antarctica they will follow up in every single cruise ship coming over there any of those cruise ships if they don't follow the rules and regulations in Antarctica they will be reported and yes cruise lines they will end it up no entry unfortunately they still at the my time when i was over there with the small marco polo cruise ship we are have a maximum 500 people now they're heading up on the cruise ships where it's the two and a half thousand passengers plus 1200 crew that's a lot a lot of them so basically it is really really difficult to control but of course you can please contact to my company representative james cannon senior and you can see his email over here contact to him talk about how you will support the funding and how would you like to get it your name to be published he will let you know every single part what is happening at the moment so let's go have a look on on a bit more statistic so plastic production is is it is expected quadruple in the next few decades leading to three times amount of plastic of the ocean by 2040 it's gonna be a lot of lot of plastics all the plastic for the medical use of coronavirus pandemic unfortunately we do have to use those ones but hopefully when you use it dispose it correctly don't just throw away so in, in uh, on that one there is a one ocean report actually discovered evidence nearly 1800 1800 1800 marine animals become entangled in or swallowing the plastic debris in the ocean since 2009 that's a lot 1800 has been found i mean those ones been found already can you imagine those ones which not been found they are still there probably drowned we never can find it out the truth what happened to them because they are over there in the bottom they become as a part of the life of circulation of life so <clears throat> become a tangle to swallow the plastic debris on those 1,800 animals, 
are listed as either engaged or threatened animals. Then comes the really not so happy things, but of course these are statistic and not actually spoken in public so much. Sea turtles, manatees and other marine life off the coast of Florida made up 55% of the animals who were injured or killed by the plastic pollution. One report says so. They do say that's a lot of lot of death animals and only in the Florida coast. Unfortunately, Florida is a nice place, but there is a lot of lot of plastic over there. Well, looking through the more than 300 cases of the weight of the plastic is painful. Going through those animals, just really sad story. It is really, really sad story because they don't know what is plastic. They might accidentally swallow it while they were eating or their mouth open and swimming and eating in a small uh, anything, what they're eating. With the, it just go there. And yes, wow, 55%. Hmm. That is actually a lot. Dolphins, sea turtles. Okay, let's go to the other part of the world. 60% of the world marine litter comes. Litters, marine litters come from six. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Asian countries. Six Asian countries. What are those countries? I actually spoke to those ones in a little bit in um, previous videos. There was a mention, just the name of few, there is of course China, Vietnam, Philippines, India. India actually the world's 30th, ah, sorry, fifth biggest at the moment, and it becomes really, really big. Thailand as well. Pakistan is over there as well. It is unfortunately 60% the plastic leaders come from the six Asian countries. So the Western world, when you're looking for the that side of the world. You can't just blame the Asian countries. And Asian countries, you can't just blame the, the other countries. We are all part of that one big ball where we live. We call it as an earth. We live in here. We do have to face it, all of us. We can't just fly away. Let's go to the Pluto. Let's go to the Mars. It's not yet possible. So we do have to face it. So, it is a big, big numbers. And of course, up to the 13 million tons of plastic from the land end up in oceans each year. Can you imagine? 13 million tons ended up in ocean. That is a lot of plastic. So, now it's your time actually fund my travel support the health the oceans let's make the oceans better home for the maritime mammals as they can't complain they can't call you they don't have a video they can't they don't have an internet this is the only way that their voice is heard from here to you. As it is, really, really not good what's happening now. 
we do have to actually keep ourselves in the living so we can help maritime mammals. So please, please contact me. James will help you. He will actually tell you what to do, whether it is basically donate your cats. Remember, five dollars per person. It's not much, but it is the big deal to get it. And then in the final thing over here, let me finalize something which is actually not so publicly, uh, but I mentioned to you in a few videos ago that I've been connecting in a few TV stations. And this week, actually, again, I've been connected with the top level in the four really, really big TV channels, persons. And yes, I've been sending them to information. What is going on? What is needed? And we are needing basically the time from the stations to get it my weekly series on the worldwide audience to see what is plastic is doing on the oceans and as soon any of those larger companies will finally give maritime mammals time to get in the public i will make official video for that one and let you know where you can see all what is happening in oceans and the final 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 part on that one i've been actually connecting on a few just a few companies who is actually developing underwater sea drones as i have a time they have a product i cover the seven seas give me the underwater drone i can go really really deep with the drone and we can see what is on the bottom of the sea and that will be actually first time in ever the whole TV history that somebody's actually do that one and collecting evidence from the sea floor so please donate subscribe like my videos share to your friends and tell them to share around as everything nowadays is just voice of the maritime mammals I wish you all the best. I see you soon. I'm Marco. I will get in back to the station and collecting more evidence for the next time. Hope to see you soon.